Hello everyone, I am Kristina, I am co-founder of Roboli and in this video I am going to show you how to generate hundreds of customized images like these using Google Sheets. For those unfamiliar with Roboli, Roboli is a premium cloud service for image generation. It helps you to create template-based images automatically. The potential of Roboli is limitless, you can use it to generate branded social media content, open graph images, PDF certificates, YouTube thumbnails and so much more. Now back to the tutorial. Let's go to Roboli dashboard. If you navigate to the template gallery, you can see we have already pre-made more than 150 templates that you can import and use for free. For the purpose of this video, we will recreate this extremely simple template which you can find in the template gallery. Now I will show you how to create this template from scratch. Let's go to my templates and click the new template button. This is the template editor. It consists of two side panels and the template preview in the middle. The left panel shows your elements. In the right panel you will see details for the element you have selected. If you have not selected any element, then the general template information shows here. Let's get started by giving a name to our template. We will name this one Simple News Square Post. I like to use the format in the name, but it's just a personal preference. You can name your template anything you want. Now let's adjust the size of our template. We will be creating a square post 1080 pixels large. But you can select any other presets or if you need a custom size template, just type in the width and height in the inputs here. We have the template file prepared. Let's add our first element. We will start with a background image. Click the image area element in the left panel. We will resize the image so it covers the whole template area. You can do that by dragging the corner of the image or by typing the desired width and height in the right panel. I like to see the example preview of how the final image will look instead of working with placeholders, so I am going to paste an example image right now. For the purpose of this video I will use free stock photos from Unsplash and Pexels. Both of these platforms have a large directory of beautiful copyright free images. So this is my image, I am going to copy the image address and paste it right here. Now we will look at the image position. You can choose from 4 positions. Cover, which is the default value, Smart Cover, Contain and Fill. For this template we will use a Smart Cover, which is one of my most favorite features of Roboli. The difference between Cover and Smart Cover is that the Smart Cover uses AI to find the most important object in the photo and centers it in the middle of the image area. In our case, it's a woman doing a yoga pose. Let's see. This is the cover and this is the Smart Cover. Now, when we have the image element set up, we will give it a name. Elements names are used for the image rendering, so I highly recommend keeping the elements name simple but descriptive. Let's continue by preparing a background for our title, so the text has a good contrast for the reading. I'm going to click the rectangle element in the left panel, move it to the bottom of our template and resize it. I could drag and drop the element or use arrows to move the element. Or I could also use these icons to align the element according to its anchor, which is artboard in this case. I want to create a nice smooth dark gradient. To do that we will select the linear gradient in the right panel. I want it to be dark at the bottom and transparent at the top, so we will rotate the gradient first and then enter the desired gradient colors and opacity. To create a natural dark look of the background gradient, I like to stack more gradients. To do so, we will duplicate the rectangle we just created, press Command C on Mac or Ctrl C on Windows and paste it, Command V on Mac or Ctrl V on Windows. 
Now we will make it a little bit small and lighter compared to the first one. And now we will name both of these elements. Let's continue by adding a text to our template. I'm going to click the text element in the left panel, move it to the bottom of our template and resize the text area. Now I'm going to fill an example title for our template and change the color to white. Now we scroll up to mode section and select the auto sizing area. If you select this option, Rabole will automatically adjust the font size to make the content fit into the text area. To show you how it works. Now, the title has seconds words, but if we had some short title, for example Yoga for Athletes, the Rabole would make the font larger. On the other hand, a really long title would look like this. I will go back to the original title and we will continue by adjusting the text area's position and size. Now we change the font family, font weight, line height, letter spacing and alignment. For better readability we will also add the text shadow. And we will change the element name to title. Now we will continue by adding a small label above the title. I am going to add a new text element. Change the content to hashtag lifestyle. This time we will set the mode to inline. Thanks to this. The width of the text area will adjust based on its content. Now we set up the font size, italic font, letter spacing, uppercase font and change the color to white. Now we scroll down and set up the text area background and text area border. We scroll back to the text section and set the line height to 0.1 so the label is nice and narrow. And as always we name the element. The last step is to add a logo to our template. We click the image element and select the logo from our uploaded assets. Move it and resize it and change the element name to logo. And this is our template. Before we go to render mode, I'm going to remove the image we used as an example and change the text to some generic placeholder. This step is optional, I like to do this with the templates I am designing so they are nicely clean. Now. We hit Command plus S on Mac or Ctrl plus S on Windows and save our template. And the template is ready for rendering. We switch over to render mode. Here you can render your images manually. For the purposes of this video, I will use this render form just to test our template by filling some modification. Looks great. I could click this button to render and download the image, but instead of manually rendering images one by one, we will set up a Google Sheet to render images in bulk. To do so, we scroll down to Automation section and click Google Sheets Wizard. We will also open a new Google Sheets file in a new window. In Google Sheets, we prepare one column for each element that will receive modifications. In our case it's title, label and photo. Now we add an extra column for the render links. With columns prepared, the spreadsheet structure is complete. To stay organized, we can remove the unnecessary columns, rows and add some colors. This is our spreadsheet prepared for data. Next. We fill in data, 
that will be passed into the template to produce the images. I will repeat this and fill in our spreadsheet with more data. Now we go back to Roboli to get the render formula. In the Google Sheets integration with Art, we select the corresponding column for each modifiable template element. In our case, it's A for title, B for label, and C for photo. Next, we click the Copy Google Sheets formula button, navigate back to the Google Sheets, and paste the formula to the render link column we prepared. Now, we can simply click on the render links to download images that will be rendered on the fly based on the data from the respected row. Let's see the first row. Here is our rendered image. I will repeat this with other rows. And now, there are all our images we rendered from one template. 